Okay, so in this part, we're going to create sprinkles on this icing. So to do that, so we are on solid mode. We're not going to go to this other mode like preview mode and render. We're going to work on this solid mode and we're going to go, in, uh, we're going to, go to geometry nodes. If it's not there, you can go to plus sign and go to uh, geometry nodes, general and geometry nodes. So let's go to geometry nodes. So you can see these kind of windows. We don't need this left part, left uh, the window on the left part. So uh, when you see this viewport window and on the left top corner, if you go like this, you, you can see this kind of plus sign. Once you see that, click and then drag towards left side. Then you see this kind of thing. Just release your mouse. So it has hidden the other part, which is the kind of window, the extra window we don't need. So let's zoom in with your scroll wheel. Zoom in and click on the icing. Okay, you, you need to do that. Don't forget. Click on the icing. Now we're going to create geometry nodes for the icing because the icing is selected. So to do that, down here you see new. Click on new and now you have created the geometry nodes. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so you can just drag like this, whatever you want to. You can just zoom in. Yeah. You can pan like this. Same with uh, same like the viewport. Okay. Now, once you do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a sprinkle by creating one sprinkle and then taking that and that as an instance or example and creating more pieces, okay? Random number or whatever you say, uh, just, uh, yeah, a lot of, a lot of uh, objects with one object, okay? So to do that, first we're gonna add here node, okay? Go to add and we need to go to, um, point just distribute points on faces okay and if you click in between these nodes it's that's gonna join the nodes automatically okay but uh, the icing is not there anymore okay so to show the icing we need to add one more node add go to add and sorry go to add go to geometry and join geometry now click here in between distribute points and group output it's going to join the nodes now from the group input click on geometry and drag like this to geometry of join geometry node so now it shows it shows the icing okay but we cannot see anything right now but one thing here you can see this density this is 10 which is very low if you turn this to 1000 and press enter this is going to show this thing kind of random things huge number of things i don't know what I should I uh, what I should call it but there's a lot of things going on which is just a representation of what what it does because this is not going to show on uh, the render mode if you go to render mode it's not going to show anything which is just the donut okay so come back to this solid mode so 
right now let's go to 10 again back to 10 density 10 it's not doing anything because it doesn't have any instance or example where it can you know, copy so let's go to add add node and this time we're gonna go to uh, what's that utility oh uh, sorry it's uh instance instances and the top one is instance on points don't confuse with instance on points and instance two points the first one is instance on points that's what we need and if you just click between these two nodes this is going to join automatically okay so the points from the distribution points uh, the uh, the points goes to the points of instance on points and this goes to the geometry join geometry so the thing is we need to distribute the points which means basically kind of creating more number of things but it is based on an instance which is we have just added here or instance is an example or a sample okay so we don't have sample right now so we need to create one let's go to this top part add right now this time not the node add but add mesh okay go to add mesh and choose cylinder we cannot see the cylinder because we need to zoom out it's huge so I'm going to press S and Z to scale just the Z axis. We're going to make it a little longer. Okay, click. And then now again S and now we're going to just drag it to scale it down. Zoom in again S to scale again. Scale it down. I'm going to grab it and bring it here by pressing G and again S to scale it down grab to bring a little closer to the donut and see what size it is again S scale down I think that's that's what we want that's the size we want but i think we can go to s press s and then z axis to make it a little more a little longer okay okay and a little uh smaller s and okay now we have created the sample okay but now we need to do one thing uh, press R to rotate and type minus 90 90 and press enter so this rotates the um, cylinder or let's say sprinkle the sample of sprinkle now after you do that you, you do that it's very important for you to set its uh, size and look um and rotation to do that you might have not forgotten one thing control a and apply scale okay now its scale is one in this size okay before doing that the the big size the big cylinder was scale one and it's this one would be way smaller but now the scale is one even when it's very small again control a we got we are, we are also going to apply uh, uh, rotation okay okay now we're done we're going back to icing click on icing we have these um, geometry nodes let's try this thing these things and make a little space now um 
what we're going to do is we're going to go to cylinder here this part we're not going to click and just release we're just going to click and drag we're not going to we're not selecting the cylinder so just cl clicking and dragging and releasing here now there is an object info this object info is the object info of this sample this sprinkle sample the cylinder okay okay now now when we connect this geometry of object info to the instance of instance on points now you have connected this sample okay to this icing now we cannot see anything because the density here is 10. Let's change this to 5000. Okay. We have a lot of sprinkles, a lot of cylinder here. Uh, if you have not uh, applied the rotation, it would be like standing. All the cylinder would be standing up. Okay. Because we have uh, applied both scale and rotation, it's in this position, okay? But the rotation here uh, is not good enough because it's just um, following the path of the this sample. But we need to follow the path of this icing, okay? To do that, uh, we need to join this rotation of distribute distribute points with the rotation of this instance. Okay, now we're good. Okay, that's what we want. But we need to uh, rotate the individual sprinkles, you know, in different directions because it's right now it's not rotated it's just going from uh this outer part towards inner um part of the donor all the sprinkles are going to going towards the same direction and uh to do that to fix this problem let's make some space here to fix that problem, we need to add one thing. Add and the utilities and rotate Euler. Rotate Euler and if you join this between distribute uh, points and instances on points, just click here and this is going to join this thing. Now, if you move this Z axis, you don't need to move X and Y because we're not gonna rotate that point. We're just gonna ro rotate the Z axis. Now you can see that it's rotating, okay? You can see. Okay. But it's not rotating in a proper direction because Right now the rotate Euler is set to object. We need to set to local, which means which means this instance. Um, okay, so local now it's going good. It's just sticking on the surface of the icing. That's good. If you don't do that object, it's gonna go you know inside the icing. So set set it to local. Okay. Oh, sorry. Just the set axis or Z axis. But the thing is, uh, all the um, sprinkles are rotating on the same direction or together. Uh, that's not what we want. We need kind of random rotation, okay? For every single sprinkle. To do that, Again, we're going to add one more node. Go to utilities and random value. 
drop here and this time join this value to rotate by of rotate Euler. And instead of this float, we're going to choose vector. And this is going to show three axes, y, x, y, and z. And we're not going to move or rotate x. So 0 on x, 0 on y. And we're going to change z axis. And this time, it's not degree. It's uh, a gradient. I don't know. I forgot. But the thing is, it's not a 360 degree or 180 degree. It, it's very small amount. Uh, just around 6. That's what we want. Okay. Uh, rotate by okay. I just forgot to join this, or maybe it just got disconnected. I don't know. So, when you connect this value to rotate by, now it shows the rotation here. If you you know move this set axis. All these small particles move in a rotate in a random degree. So I'm going to put this around 6.8 or 6.6.3. Okay. So this is what we want so far. Okay. And so far it looks good. If you go to uh, Uh, if you go to this, what is this? I forgot. Preview mode. If you go to preview mode, you can see you have just created this sprinkle. And uh, yeah, this looks good. If you go to render, even better. Okay. So that's what we have created so far. Uh, in the next part, we're gonna make it more realistic by changing the colors and uh, making it more realistic by uh, probably separating these uh, sprinkles, okay, which are like uh, hitting each other here. So that's not what we want, but. For that thing, you're going to go to next part. Until then, just practice this part. So, yeah, keep practicing.